Well, we're going to get more on this now and cross live to Sam Blackledge. He's in Totnes for us tonight. Uh, Sam, this is a town which voted to remain in the EU. They have Sarah Wollaston, who is uh, an anti-Brexit MP, of course. What is the mood there tonight? Well, we're right in the heart of this beautiful market town in South Devon, where back in 2016, 54% of people actually voted to stay in the European Union. Well, as you say, the town's Conservative MP, Sarah Wollaston, originally backed the Leave campaign, but then announced she was switching sides. And ever since then, she's been a fierce campaigner against her own government, repeatedly calling for a public vote on the final Brexit deal. While speaking to us, she told us she's very concerned about the latest developments. Well, this is very worrying. It's just 135 days until we're due to leave the European Union. If, as we're hearing, the, the Jacob Rees-Mogg's group plus the DUP have pulled the plug on this, um, it means that it couldn't, in effect, pass Parliament. If that's the case, it means that we're rapidly running out of road and we're heading for no deal with no transition. And that has really catastrophic consequences. I mean, I'm not dramatising that if we have no transition either but for individuals, for families and communities. And Sam, you've spent some time in Totnes today. What have the people there been telling you about how they're feeling about the plans? Well, talking to people here, what really comes across is just how clued up they are. They're politically engaged. They've been following developments in Parliament throughout the day. And they've certainly got some strong opinions about what the government is doing. Uh, it seems like complete and utter mayhem, like utter, utter chaos, um, and just feels completely disconnected from day to day life. Britain's always been best at making things and everybody in the world will still want us. It needs to be given that chance. We've got a load of, I don't know what's happening in Parliament today, but no one agrees on anything. Do you think that a change of government would make a difference? Well, that's a hard question. Uh, possibly they could do difference, but I'm not that keen on Jeremy Corbyn, but he is at least a human being in contrast to Theresa May with compassion. He's a compassionate man, I noticed that. And I'm very sad that the uh, United Kingdom, or let's say England, has decided to leave Europe, um, but there must be some, some pretty important reasons why that decision was taken. So no shortage of passionate views here in Totnes, but as things stand, we're really not much closer to finding out what the future holds. Will people here get the chance to vote again? Will the PM's deal be accepted by Parliament? One thing's for sure, people here in Totnes will be paying very close attention. Sam Blackledge in Totnes, thank you.